With the help of Leadership Tri-Cities, the domestic violence services were able to raise money for its new thrift store located next to the Kennewick DMV. Fashion with Compassion is a fashion show they held this weekend. Models in the fashion show were community members, including our very own Riley Fitzgerald, who was there to support the domestic violence services and to encourage audience members to raise their paddles to help raise funds for the new store. <laughs> I was nervous. I've never been a fashion model in my life. I am an artist, I'm a performer, but this is a very new experience for me. I was nervous. There was no courtroom or jury for me to look at, so I felt like a fish out of water. And then people were gonna be looking at me like I'm modeling. I decided I'm just gonna have fun. And the audience was great, and so I just had a blast. Opening their pocketbooks and the wallets and um, getting out of their comfort zone, like being a fashion model on a runway. We're going to raise the paddle and give you an opportunity to help us bring this project to fruition. I didn't expect us to sell out. I was hoping maybe we'd get a couple donations. It, it was it's very humbling to see the community. And so we have a community filled with people who genuinely care. I'm very proud of Class 26's work. It's a, it's a very poignant issue that they've chosen to tackle and they've done it in such a fun and creative way. And it seems like they've raised thousands and thousands of dollars already. It's one thing when you have a passion for something because you experienced it and for other people to pick up the baton of that passion and run with it when they don't have any other motivation other than your story, it is incredibly humbling. Supporting these victims of domestic violence is, is, a, is a critical element in, in our community. And it's difficult to talk about, but something we need to do. The grand opening for the domestic violence services of Benton and Franklin County's thrift store officials say should happen in May. Leadership Tri-Cities and the domestic violence services are putting together the finishing touches.